this is Chris. Welcome to my channel. I have something special to show today to share with you. <clears throat> These are two baby books that I'm making for uh, family members. My niece and her husband are going to have a girl soon and my nephew and his wife are going to have a little boy. So I made one of each and I made them from The Swaddle by Authentique, which I found at Hobby Lobby. It's so cute. It just has really cute um, vintage illustrations and matching papers. And there's, I think, five, five of each sheet, double-sided. And these cute illustrations. And these cute cut aparts. And it has uh, journaling cards, which you'll see inside, which I, I had to use those all up because they were back to back. And to get one, you had to sacrifice the one on the back. So there aren't any of those left. And then I used, for mounting, um, decorating the pages, underneath the decorative pages, I used this pastel smooth color stock by Colorbox that I found at Walmart. And so it has a ton of, in fact, I used all, the whole entire first one and I had to buy this second one because I was short by maybe one sheet, one or two sheets. And this this book was inspired by Mamie Made It's tutorial which is called the 5x7 Fall Mini Album. And she uses an accordion folded binding which I did but because I don't have a scoreboard I couldn't quite get my scores parallel so my pages didn't didn't want to sit right and I didn't have time to um, keep making it over so I decided instead to do a stack the deck binding so let's put the little boy aside for a minute and so um, this has five sections in the stack the deck binding and the pages are made from five and three quarter by eight and three quarter envelopes which I found at Walmart. Fifty of them for just a few dollars. So that's a lot of envelopes. And uh, what you do is you put cardstock on each side of the flap and that makes another page. So each envelope makes two pages with four sides to it. So this is um, the little baby girl, and the lace here um, belonged to my grandmother. In, it was in her lace box, and so my grandmother is this baby's great-great-grandmother. So this baby will have lace from her great-great-grandmother. My grandmother would be thrilled with that, to know that. So we'll just slip the ribbon off because I don't want to keep tying and untying. And it has a um, wrapped cardboard spine over the top of the stack the deck spine. So let's start. So here we go with an adorable little illustration. And this is the first envelope. So as I was saying, here's the envelope. So that's this part of the envelope. And then the flap is between these pieces of pink and blue, pink and purple cardstock, no, pink and blue cardstock. And then decorated with the, with the um, pattern papers. And I put little notes on these pages just to give Mommy an idea of how she can use this book. So right here would be for a photo of Mommy and Daddy. Here is magnetized one of the cutouts. 
that mommy can put photos of her three trimesters during her pregnancy. And then on the back, I just put cardstock on there, decorative paper, and some photo mounts. In here is a card where mommy can journal about her pregnancy, about how she found out about it, and how she announced it, how she and daddy announced it. And on the back, I just put some um, writing paper that has a little rose on it. And I distressed the little girl's book with pink, and I distressed the little boy's book with blue. But otherwise, I used all the colors throughout the book. This was one of the cut-aparts, and it's a place for um, Mommy to put an ultrasound photo. My niece sent this one to me by text, so I just printed it out so she could see, but she can put her good one on there if she wants. She can do whatever she wants. And over here is a place for baby's first photo and name and the date she was born and her weight and her length. Here we have a really cute um, embossed baby clothes on a clothesline. More of great great grandma's lace. Room for photos, lots of photos and journaling cards. This is the second envelope. And in this little pocket, this is a um, die cut of a tabbed folder. And we have a little envelope here with some little um, words on vellum that I had in my stash about family and love and all that. And then these are um, Project Life journaling cards called Princess. Got those at Tuesday morning. And in here are some cutouts, die cuts of, of words, family and blessed. And cute little things that she can stick wherever she wants. This is another cutout from the pattern paper pack. And then here are some small Project Life journaling cards. And these are from the Princess pack. And some of them that I thought were, were cute, um, these are from the little boy pack. But uh, the princess pack didn't have a whole lot of cute sayings. They just were pretty princess. So I wanted to um, pull some of them from the boys pack. But there's lots of little um, cards that she can. And that's not, that's not nearly all the cards that came with the pack. There were 40 in the princess pack and 60 in the little boy pack. And I put little thumb holes on the envelopes. And then this is the uh, third page, and you'll see that this page is cut, this envelope is cut at an angle. What happened was when I attached the envelope to the stack the deck spine, I got it a little bit wonky and it wouldn't lay flat. It was kind of buckled. So I didn't know what to do, and so I ended up cutting it at an angle, making a, a tuck spot out of it and that released the buckle on the page. So if you're ever working with envelopes and they buckle when you put them in, this is a good solution. And so this came with the pattern paper pack and it's a facsimile of a Western Union Telegraph probably from the 40s that people would send to their family. And um, these are some uh, new stickers I found at Walmart and I thought the colors went really well, so I just stuck some of those in there. And then these are little um, punch-outs. I got these at Tuesday morning. I don't remember the name of the of the company, but they've got cute little um, little lady. And what's this one say? Delightful, kind, charming, sweet, caring, lovely, cherished girl. Uniquely you. Too cute for words. So I'm just stick all these little things in there and then they can use them which ones they want, however they want. Now on the other side it has this cute bunting die cut. And this envelope is the one that buckled and so I cut it on this side too. And then I put a piece of 
cardstock between the two cut sides of the envelope to give it some stability. And then in here I have um, oval photo mounts with um, a template that they can use to size and cut their photos. And then another cute um, one of the cutouts. And then the fourth page, Sweet Like Sugar, just a little flip up. You can put a, a picture under there. And then here's another uh, file folder, tabbed folder. And here are some, some just random die cuts. They're all label type die cuts. And some circles, some little um, stitch die cuts, some little banners. And here are some square photo mounts in um, all the colors. And I put a note in the front of the book telling them to look in the pockets for these things. And then in the back we have a little card, Great Grandma's Lace again. And on this card it just um, is a little note from me to the parents for their baby. And then I just signed it down here. So there's lots of room for photos and lots of pockets. I didn't put pockets on the pages. I left those for photos. But these pockets in the envelopes are good. They can put cards from people, um, gift tags from, from gifts that come from people. Uh, they can put uh, newspaper clipping if they do a birth announcement. Little things like that. And so that's Baby Girl. And so here is baby boy and is just about the same, a little bit different. Edged in blue with blue ink around. Now you see here's um, the same image here as here. And this one I edged in pink and this one I edged in blue. And so this brings out the pink in the illustration and this brings out the blue and these little flowers. So cute. I just love this paper pack. And so more of his great great grandma's lace and inside the very first pages are similar different um, some different patterns and here we have um, trimester photo fold out for mama photo of mommy and daddy, the journaling card for she can write about her pregnancy. For this mama it's her second it's her second child. So she might be too busy <laughs> to fill all these things out. But in this one for the ultrasound too with the journaling on the back. And baby's first photo, name and date, just like the first one. And then we have again this cute little embossed image in blue and then the Project Life cards from the boy packet. That's just what it's called, boy. And then in here little um, cards. Happy, fun, silly, and oh so sweet. Loved. Little flags. Best of friends. I thought this would be cute if they take a picture of um, baby boy with his big sister. That would be cute. Best of friends. Amazing day. Playful. Best day ever. So mommy can use those as, as she likes. The little paper clip thing here. And then this is the... Um, smaller little boy Project Life journaling cards and there's lots of room to journal on those
And then here's another page, lots of room for photos. More of the bunting die cut in blue. In here, the square photo mounts. This particular die has like a faux stitching around the edge, punched holes in it. My friend and neighbor and fellow crafter lent me some of these dies, which were just really great to add because I don't have a, a large die collection. And then in here we have die cuts, little words, a little envelope. With little labels, die cut labels, little play paper clip in there, and then in here we have the oval photo mounts with the templates. Here we had another page that buckled. So I cut it at an angle, only on the one side. I didn't cut it on the other side because that's the back cover. And then um, more of the same items that were in the other baby book. And then the little card from me where I signed it and wrote about who this was made by and who it was made for. So there's baby boy, and there's baby girl. And I will get these in the mail pretty soon because baby boy comes first, and then baby girl will come. Let's fast forward a few months. The books have been sent out, and the babies have arrived. Aren't they sweet together, the little cousins? Check out the description below for a link to the Mamie Made It video that inspired me to make these books. Please subscribe and share with your crafting friends. Have a great day. Bye-bye.